In our rapidly changing digital era, you might assume paper books might be declining in popularity in favor of e-books. But a recent trend in Korea shows books are not likely to go out of style anytime soon. Wu Xiang reports. It's well past 10 p.m. on a weekday. At this book cafe in southern Seoul, visitors aren't planning to leave anytime soon. They're here to read their books late into the night. If I go home straight after work, I end up watching TV. Of course, I could go to a library, but here I can enjoy my book with a beer or a coffee. It's a wonderful way to end the day. I can definitely concentrate better here than at home, and it's great that I can choose from books that I don't have as well. A number of late-night book cafes like these are springing up around the country, offering comfy spaces for reading without distractions. With the growth of the e-book market fueled by the use of digital gadgets, concerns about the future of printed books and traditional brick-and-mortar bookstores have risen over the years. But as these cafes show, the pleasure of flicking through the pages of a book hasn't been lost on young Koreans. In fact, it's a literary trend that's taking shape across the nation, with quirky reading venues popping up in unexpected places. These days, most Koreans shop for books online or at mega bookstores downtown. But tucked away in a quiet neighbourhood in Seoul, there's a small independent bookshop that offers more than just good reads. It offers a unique experience. Each book is handpicked by the owner, who aims to introduce visitors to the works of lesser-known authors, not just the bestsellers. Lit with warm, vivid colours, the artfully decorated room creates the perfect setting for readings, book clubs and other kinds of intimate gatherings. Readers can share their thoughts, draw inspiration from one another, or simply enjoy reading the books out loud. Today, writer Im Zorai is here to discuss her new book, 29th Issue. I was inspired by a bookstore run by a Korean poet called Park Jin Han that served as a cafe and a salon for famous artists and writers of that time to share their ideas. In that sense, I wanted to introduce and sell new books, but also provide a venue where diverse people can interact with one another. Korean readers are discovering that reading a book is about more than sitting down and taking in the words. Choosing what to read can be a journey, and turning the pages a sensory experience. Wu Xiang, Arirang News.